Hi, I'm Rhiannon Hiles and we're here today in the cinema at Beamish and we're with Bill, who is a projectionist here, who's just laid this brick for us, which is really exciting. Bill was telling me lovely stories as we walked down towards the, the building site and then to see Bill here doing that in the space where he had worked. And he's emotive and we're emotive, so it's absolutely brilliant to have someone like Bill in this space doing this, to bring people into the spaces who have helped us to create the stories because they're their stories is absolutely amazing. And so I feel quite, quite emotional myself to see somebody like Bill doing this here today it was brilliant. I was a trainee projectionist from the very young age of 10 in 1950 at the Grand Cinema in Ryhope. This is the projection room portals where the, proje uh, the projector will beam the film onto the screen and I've been asked to lay a brick in commemoration so that the next time I come when the equipment is in I'll probably get the job of putting the initials on it, possibly. So, um, I'm very grateful, you know, to have been asked to come along today for to lay the, the brick, etc. And it leaves, it leaves my name, sort of, or a bit of the building for posterity. Because, um, again, I'm coming back to myself. I mean, this is where it was the embryo, if that's the word for it, where it all started in the business for me. Everything that I learned over the few years before I left school, even, um, regarding the ground and the rebuild and all that has been uh, utilised through my 50 odd years in cinemas and I think about 18 cinemas that I've controlled over that um, 50, 50 odd years. Without their stories and without people like Bill, the, in, in effect, these wonderful spaces have no soul. And without those people's stories to help us to generate that feeling, then they're, they're just buildings. They're, just, they're beautiful to look at, don't get me wrong. But being able to come into them and our engagers will tell those stories that Bill and others have shared with us. Bill's just told us some amazing tales. They're brilliant. His experiences of being here, they're in my head now. When I come into this space with new engagers, with new staff and volunteers, I'll be sharing that information, making sure that it builds on the, there's, there'll be very, very uh, common, there'll be generic stories which um, all of our staff and volunteers will tell when they're in this space, but the communities and the people who worked here, their stories are the ones which give it that meaningfulness, that value, and that is exciting. When I brought the car down today and walked up to the, I didn't realise that you were so far advanced. I thought it might be about four tiers of bricks from the, the foundations. But um, we're, ju we're just about halfway there, aren't we? And it's 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 a, it, it's a real honour, if that's the word for it, you know, to, to have been asked for to come and lay the brick, because um, it's something for posterity. It's going to add, from, from many perspectives, it's going to just create another wonderful space. But this is a really big space as well. And um, we've just been upstairs into the circle, which looks down across into the, into the cinematic experience. And then there's the other spaces as well, which are downstairs. The, where we're standing at the moment in the projection room faces the terrace and the entrance into this building is, is at that point. And it's just going to really bring to life another area in the museum. You'll be able to see this building as you come out of the 1900s town. And it's rising up and it's, it's quite an imposing sight, but a really stunning sight. And very importantly, we've made sure that we've got 1900s as you come out of the 1900s town, even though we're telling a 1950s story. And to my left now that you can't see, just out of sight, is the beginning of other developments where we're going to do very 1950s style shops. They're going to have very different appearances to, the, to this building. So this space enables us to have a big indoor space as well. This is going to be able to take a lot of people. So on those very, very wet days like we've just had over this last weekend, this is going to be a great space. But we're going to be able to show films and footage and Pathé news from the, from the era, which is an exciting opportunity for us and for our visitors coming in to the museum. So this cinema will open to the public early next year and this is part of a much wider project that some of you will already have seen coming up out of the ground. We recently opened our social housing and our police houses, our bowling green, our welfare. So the 50s in the museum is really coming to life now. Spainsfield Farm open on weekends until we've actually got the whole project completed and then we'll be developing Pockley as well. So it's the biggest project that the museum has ever done in its history and we're really, really proud of it and we're proud that it's coming towards its fruition.